But the, you were actually on time this morning. I know. You were here about three minutes. Well, you, you know why? Why is that? There's some roadworks on the, on the way in, so I had to come past where you live. Oh, you had to come in through Heaven Street? Yes, I had to come that way. And it was... And it was quicker? And I had, I had a police car behind me, so that's why I got quicker. So people <laughs> were getting out of the police cars... Just cars. a little bit. P- people trying to get out of the police car's way, and you would stay <laughs> no, just as my police escort. <laughs> OK. <laughs> but she was, she was meant to be in front of me, not behind me. <laughs> oh, no. So well, that's why I'm here early. OK. Well, well I was ho- I'm hoping Chris will be a little bit late, because... <laughs> I'm wanting to say thank you for being late. <laughs> it's my new phrase, which, uh, yes. which I've learnt um, through following Coursera. Well, he's by the ramp, but he's, he's quite close. So oh, you've, got, you've, got, you've got a bug on him. I've got a bug, a big bug. Yes, well, Chris is a, is a bug anyway. Well, but you've okay. got an even bigger one on him. So, you know, he's um, getting closer. So, yeah, the, uh, l- listeners, this is. Um, they both. Well, I'm going to mention Apple. They yeah. have to. They have to be. I'm sure this works on other devices. <laughs> but um, our producer and our main presenter, they have, they have the tabs on each other as to where they are, and so you don't think he's going to be late either. No. <laughs> so neither of you are going to be late. No. Oh. Oh. Well, anyway, go um, on. I'm sure I'm going to manage to link in this idea of of how good it is to be late, or. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I've understood this properly. You, you remember the MOOC? We were actually catching up with. We were the MOOC. catching up with the MOOC for quite a long time. You've, mm-hmm. you've refused to accept that the audience know what a MOOC is. You've insisted it be explained every time. Mm-hmm. But I think we're moving on now. I think we have to assume that our our audience do know mm. about uh, online learning, all this sort of thing. And Coursera, we reported a bit on Coursera from the Learning Technologies show. Mm-hmm. And um, they've, got, they've got a conference in, um, in London this week. And their main, their main speaker is Tom Friedman. He's actually a journalist. I don't, I don't know what that tells you, but I mean, there, there must have been an academic who could yeah. talk about the state of learning and technology and how it's all speeding up and so forth. But anyway, he's come up with this phrase, which is also the title of his book... Thank you for being late, <laughs> and I don't. I don't really understand what, it, how it works, but I think it's something like if somebody is late, um, they've probably spent the time sensibly. They've reflected about their purpose for the day. They've rested. Um, they've been somewhere else that might input something. I don't. I don't really. I don't really follow it. Can you think of any good reason why why it would be a benefit to this show if being late if if you if you were not here as soon after ten or Chris was not here in time for ten thirty or um, we give you more time we give me more time <laughs> <laughs> assuming I assuming we, we I can, got we here can sit and have a latting That's, we can discuss yes. the world problems <laughs> yeah there's quite a lot you know being late so it might be it might be a good thing. Well, I think what comes out of lateness comes earlier this. Ah. So if you think you're going to be late, yeah. you're actually going to be early. Maybe it works that way. Yes, I think it's that way around. Because you think, oh, I'm going to be late for the studio or the beginning of the programme, yeah. and you find you're early. OK. Because your thinking goes into sort of motivation and getting going uh, twice as much as if you were on a normal sort of strolling along the countryside <laughs> look. Do, do you think automation or robots is going to, or artificial intelligence, machine learning, all of these things are going to take over and mean that it doesn't really matter when we get here, the show will be done uh, anyway? Well, it is anyway. You've, just, got, you've got somebody in beforehand, haven't you? Well, that's why I try and get here a, a little bit early, because yes. I, I, I like to talk to the storyteller and find out mm. what's going on. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's why I try and get here before mm. I'm supposed to be here, but... Um, mm. I just wonder if the, if the, if if um, if Phonic FM invested in a, a robot that said um, there's been 30 seconds during mm. which there was no speech, mm. completely silent signal, mm. we must kick in the robot. Mm. Um, but we came in at some point between 10 and 12 mm. on a Thursday and adjusted it slightly. Well, there are there are technology like that. You can have your playout system 
one of the stations I was on, you had the, you had your playout system automatic. Right. And when you wanted to do it live, you just told it to shut up and you couldn't <laughs> do it. <laughs> so it does happen. And can it can it sort of replicate what a show is is more or less like in terms of what the audience expects? Uh, I'm not sure about that, but I think it's um, it's done on um, like a program which you uh, it will play on the computer and, until you've told it to stop by putting the fader out and doing the program on top of it. Oh, okay. So that's that's the the thing is then you've got to count down to the next program coming in. Right. So it's quite high tech, but it's um, um, I think it's quite good actually. It's a much better way of doing it because if you can't make it, right, a program of yours will go out. Right. So that's a roboty thing. Yeah. Well, maybe that's what Coursera are going to have. Mm. Maybe they'll advertise webcasts. Mm -hmm. or something like that Mm. and um, if the lecturer turns up they'll do a a new one Mm. but they've probably got something in stock that would work just as well Mm -hmm. and maybe Tom Friedman could do a keynote on that basis as well Mm -hmm. so it wouldn't matter if he was late no not really I don't think so Okay. As as long as the content of the show is brilliant yeah Lateness is nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, look. I think we. I think we've. I think we've. We've got there, JT. We've mm. understood what the. Well, you, I hope what the have. thing is about. Well, I hope we have because Sir's almost here. Well, Chris is almost here. Yeah. He's not supposed to be here till half past, past ten. I, I won't let him in. Don't worry. Oh, that's I'll, all right. I'll, I'll go up and. <laughs> okay. I'll go and change the lock numbers. <laughs> okay. Well, that should work. <laughs> well, look. The other thing I should mention is that um, there's a there's a trap board by um, Brandy Carlyle. And um, I've found um, a podcast. The New York Times has a podcast, a book review interview sort of thing, um, in which it's mentioned that this this track is included with the book. So uh, I'll, I'll play I'll play this. It's called The Eye. Uh, I think it's supposed to be The Eye of the Storm, which is about the... I, I mean, the techno bubble that is engulfing education. But, I mean, whether whether that's true or not, I don't know, but anyway, this is this is this. this you you will get this track with the book. Thank you for being late, and I'm, I've, I, you'll find it on on uh, on YouTube as well. Brand, Brandy Carlyle. <laughs> 